Hi, and thanks so much for joining me for Everyday Vlogmas, day seven. revisit of my Sisley products to a whole full face. I think I've done a full face before, but I didn't have as many products as I do now. The mascara is by Ilia, and it says here, buildable, flake-free, award-winning mascara. It lifts, lengthens, and curls with a hold that lasts all day. And I didn't curl my lashes. I just used this to see what they would do. So I think it did a good job of lifting them up. Um, and it says 99% natural formula designed for sensitive eyes and easily removes with warm water at night. So this is the first time I've tried it. It did take me a little bit longer to build it up and it has an interesting brush. It has a curved side and then it has like a straight side. Do you see that straight across? And then this is more of like a curved side. So I went in with a curved first and then I kind of separated with the, um, with the straighter side. So yeah, it was nice. It took me a little bit longer even than the Chantecaille to build it up. So just know it might take a little while to get here. And I think I must've put on like three coats at least maybe four. I don't think I will replace my Chantkai with it, but it's a nice one if you're wondering. Actually, a question that was just posted recently, like within the last couple hours, this powder, someone wanted to know about this powder versus the Hummingbird powder. This one right here, and I've actually done an entire dedicated video to comparing the two of these, and just if you don't want to go watch it, I prefer this in terms of a finishing powder, but this Turns out it's a really beautiful primer. I have tried this with several different foundations, so it works really well with other foundations as well as Sizzly. Really just kind of perfected the skin or blurred before actually going in with foundation and I didn't use very much foundation at all. I did go in with the loose powder, um, which is interesting. I think it sets really well. I feel like these powders work really well together. In fact, if I wanted to get the most out of these products or the most out of the Sizzly like base, I would start out with this, go in with the foundation, then set with this loose powder and finish off with the other powder. This powder here, I love to layer powders though, more than liquid items or cream because I feel like I can build those up and I don't get as much texture with them. So I enjoy powders anyway, so I do like that I have all three of them. It's a lot, it's excessive. If you had to have one, gosh, probably this one um, because it will set and also give that kind of sheen to the skin if that's what you want. This is really nice though. This would be my second priority if you're going to get another one this to put under foundation. And then this, we'll see how this goes in terms of setting. I haven't really watched it that closely. I also did want to show you the Sizzly concealer by itself because to have the La Prairie on top of the Sizzly is quite a bit, but this is what it looks like. I think it still looks really good. Let's go in though with the La Prairie um, so we can compare and you can see. So just take a little bit in the, I forgot to mention too, the 
uh, applicator on this is much more cooling in terms of its sensation than the Sizzly. I don't know if that's important to you, um, but I just put a little bit right there. But I do like the brush on the end of this. There's a brush embedded in the bottom. So that's how you take the brush out. <laughs> it's not how you dispense. So usually if you push the bottom of something, it will dispense product at the top. You actually twist this one like this in order to get more product. Yeah, <laughs> took me a while to figure that out. So just the slightest bit here. This is probably less than I normally do. I just don't wanna interfere with the powder. But I'm bringing it all the way up to this inner corner here. Okay, so that's the difference. I know it's slight, but I can really see that it looks much brighter with them layered. So I like the Sizzly, but I really feel like the La Prairie just kicks it up a notch. You don't need both of these. I've said it before. I would go with the Sizzly if you just want to try one, but I just feel like I will probably repurchase this one, the La Prairie with the Sizzly, because I like the way they work together. Just really focusing it on this area right here. And that's all. So there we are all kind of evened out a little bit. So I hope that illustrates the difference for you. So keep the questions coming, I love it. That way I can address them in future videos and actually demonstrate what I'm talking about because sometimes I know when I answer in the comments, I might not be as clear as actually showing it in a video. Okay, you may have noticed I have a little something to open over there. So we're gonna talk about that. Actually, we're gonna open that. And I also have another package behind that. Um, let me go get it. So we're going to open this in a moment from House of Siage. I love opening packages from them because it's always an experience. And I have this from Abby Bliss White. So we are doing a live next weekend. So the weekend of, where's my phone? The 12th or the 13th. So that's a Saturday or Sunday. Let me know what a good time is. We were thinking like midday, like two o'clock I did once on a Sunday, which worked really well. So let me know if there's a preference because then we'll schedule it. So I'd love to know what we'll do again is we will open, I'm gonna keep mine sealed until then, and then we'll open it on the live. So we'll start over here and then we're going to hop over to Abby's channel and continue the live over there. So I'm excited to open that. So I'm not opening that today, but next weekend I will open it. So please let me know a good time. But let's go ahead and open the House of Siaj. I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see what I'm looking at. so much House of Siage for sending everything over. Exquisite as always. And this lipstick bow case that they sent over matches the perfume bottle that usually sits in the back. And this is the scent called Whispers of Innocence. I'm not sure how great the lighting was for swatches so I thought I'd show you right here how they look. Peachfully speaking it's one of my favorite ones and so is Queen actually. I put Queen in here in the lipstick case. If you've never tried any House of Siage lipsticks, I love their bold colors, I think the most. I think their nudes are beautiful too, but really just in terms of wear, because sometimes reds can be harder to wear because the way they wear off. <laughs> sometimes it's not even, but these are very even. In fact, they leave a bit of a stain behind. They are one of the hardest swatches for me to clean off of my arm, so that really shows me their staying power really comfortable, really one of my most favorite lipstick formulas. There's also an offer for you. They emailed me some information in case you were interested. So if you were planning on buying anything from House of Siage, with any $495 purchase, they are including a full-sized fragrance, Chevaux d'Or. It's an exotic rose fragrance. 
I'm just reading about it, back this holiday season. I will leave the information below and an affiliate link in case you're interested. If you do choose to use the affiliate link, I will receive a small commission. But that is it for today's video, so please take care of each other, stay well. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow.